on this edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements. Dixie Ball Scholarship, Drum Major, and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Riley. And I'm your host, Israel. The Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarship applications are now available in student services. Applications are due no later than April 1st. The scholarship amount is $2,500, so apply if you qualify. For lunch today in lines one and two, spicy or grilled chicken sandwich, line three, closed. Line four, popcorn shrimp or grilled cheese. Line five, Big Daddy Pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Chase Burnett, Eric Capillion, and Isabella Wallsmith. Now, to Israel with weather. For weather today, there will be a 50% chance of showers with a high of 60 and a low of 37. Expect to have a 11 mile per hour wind and a 81% humidity. Congratulations to Maddie McBee on becoming the next drum major for the band next year. Congrats. Congrats. Today is the last day that Crash will be helping out students with their scholar check right after school from 2.50 to 3.50 in room 201 in Ms. Johnson's, Ms. Johnson's class. Please make sure to be there if you need any help. That's it for today's morning announcements. Please make sure to subscribe and like. Now to a special announcement from Mrs. Long. Good morning, students. Yesterday you received a letter from our superintendent, and I need to remind you of a few pieces of information. First, your best protection against illness of any kind is proper hand washing. Make sure that you're using soap and washing for at least 20 seconds. And I realize that you've heard this info before, but it's only effective if you're actually following through. Here are a few other details that warrant your attention. First, if you're heading out of the country on spring break, please let your community teacher know today. We're paying close attention to those students who may be traveling to CDC designated level two or three countries like China, Italy, Iran, etc. Should we be forced to close school? You'll also need to set yourself up for success with e-learning. Please make sure that you take your laptop and your charger home from school each day. If we have to close school, you won't be permitted back in the school for any reason. So make sure you have those things. Also, make sure that you're checking your email daily. This is how teachers will communicate with you. If you can't log into your email, please see the technology assistance in the library. For every day that we may have to be out of school, you will have assignments on Canvas in each of your classes. Your teachers will then be available to answer questions via email each day from 9 to 11.30 and 12.30 to 2. After school is back in session, you'll have two additional days to submit assignments. Make sure you're doing your best to keep up with your work. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help. Remember, we're simply ma making preparations should we need them. We have no concerns at this point and school is not yet canceled. We're hoping that we don't have to go that route, but we need to be prepared in case we do. Thank you so much for your attention to this manner and please remember to wash your hands. Have a great day.